Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and I try in this tutorial you're going to be learning skin retouching from the very start to the very end in just 10 minutes so stick around and if I told you this is what you have always wanted to learn or to watch this is the best tutorial for you out there so I'm just going to come and understand frequency separation frequency separation is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide the image into two layers which is the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer in the high frequency layer we have our textures and in the low frequency layer we have our colors all the skin tones so just come the background layer and simply press ctrl or command j twice to create those two layers then you're going to name this layer to color or you can name it low frequency and you're going to name this to texture or you can call it uh, the high frequency so after doing this simply hide the high frequency layer or the texture layer and you select the color layer right here and simply come to filter and come down to blur and come down to Gaussian blur right here so at this point you have to determine the amount of skin textures that you want to remain with in your image so by doing this simply click and move around to see which area has more skin textures than the rest of the skin in the image that you want to retouch and simply left click and hold down and start dragging this slider up up to the point when these textures are just starting to disappear completely from uh, your image so i'm just going to take it up a little bit so at round 7 that is when i'm just starting to close out on the textures in this very image so you have to drag it and stop at the point when the prominent textures are just starting to disappear but you will notice that the image is going to be looking a little bit blurry so just come and simply hit ok then you're going to come to the high frequency frequency layer or the texture layer and select it and now activate it remember in this layer we only want to remain with the textures so simply come to image and you're going to come to apply image so when you come to apply image it's going to open up the apply image window right here so make sure the layer you select is the color layer the source is the name of the image so basically what you're going to do make sure the channel is rgb and the blend mode since this is a 16-bit image the blend mode is going to be add the scale is to offset zero opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check and come and turn on the invert option and you see the textures on this gray kind of layer and if at all you have an 8-bit image meaning you have 8 right here these are going to be a little bit different so you select the color layer the channel is rgb and make sure the invert option is not turned on the blend mode has to be subtract the scale is to an offset 128 opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check and click ok but i have a 16-bit image so i'll just change this to add and simply invert with a scale of 20 offset at zero now hit ok so you want to get back the information in the image or the colors by simply coming to the blend mode changing it from normal and changing it all the way to linear light so after doing this you're going to put this to in a group by pressing ctrl or command g on the keyboard and open up this frequency separation group so come and select the color layer remember we first of all want to blend or even out the skin tones within the model's skin so just come select the low frequency layer or the color layer right here and hide the high frequency layer so that you can only look at the colors in real time as you're working on them so just going to come under the brushes right click and get the mr brush tool so after selecting the mr brush tool if at all you don't have it under the brushes you can find your mr brush tool down here so just come and make sure you set it right hardness is zero make sure clean brush is selected right here make sure the option that says clean the brush after it and every stroke has been selected because we want photoshop to automatically clean the brush for us as you're trying to work on different skin tone variations within the image you don't want the brush to carry color previous color from one area to another so the weight you're going to be using is nine percent load of 75 mix at 90 flow 100 percent make sure sample all layers is not checked because when you check this option it means that your brush may be carrying information from textures and painting them in the color layer which we don't want so make sure sample all layers is not checked right here so if i told you mr brush tool is showing a plus icon make sure that you simply press the caps lock key and to increase or decrease on the size of the mr brush tool, you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard so how to use the mr brush tool you simply left click and hold down and we start moving the mr brush tool and mixing colors that are looking alike or even so that we can create a nice and smooth transition within those colors so you have to keep your mixer brush tool or the size of the mixer brush as small as possible because 
we don't want to distort or spill color to areas where it is not supposed to be so you have to mix one area one area at a time so when it comes to this jaw line simply move the brush in this kind of up down kind of formation because we are basically mixing or blending colors that are meant to look alike within this very image so the nose the strokes are going to be different move it from up to down and where those colors are transitioning from one area to another just come and mix that boundary so that you create that smooth and seamless transition between one color to another so when you turn on the texture you can see that we have still maintained our just turn on and off the group to see a progress we have still maintained our textures but we have blended the skin tone so i'm just going to be forwarding this so high the high frequency i'm just going to be seeing you later on after working on the skin tones hello and welcome back and as you can notice that i have been retouching at a distance so it is something that you have to do every single time you're working on the image so retouch at a distance or when you're using the mixer brush tool make sure to mix at a distance because that is going to help you save time and it's also going to enable you look that uh look rather at the uneven skin tone transitions within the image it is going to help you retouch faster so just come and turn on the texture and you can see the quick before and after for this retouched image so after doing this we want to fine tune the areas that we may have missed out as we're using the mixer brush tool to blend the skin tone transitions and we're going to be introducing the lasso tool so just come and select the lasso tool with the low with the low frequency layer or the color layer still selected right here make sure it is in new selection mode and with the feather of 22 pixels because we don't want the edges of the selection to be sharp we want them to be smooth so make sure you are between 20 and 25 pixels so just type in that just come and now select so you have to follow the way an area is shaped and keep away from the edges or even the eyebrows or even the hair simply come to filter and come to blend come to gush and blur so when you do this step it is going to bring back the initial radius we applied for african separation so just come to the radius and simply click and drag forward up to when you feel like you're getting a nice skin texture for your image but don't take it overboard because it's going to create a very unnatural skin texture for your image but some trick i can share with you guys you can simply use the previous area saturated for your frequency separation just multiply that radius by three and just type in that value so mine was seven so seven by three is 21 so just type in 21 and you can see that it has created for me that nice texture for this very image so i'm just going to be drawing a shape right click and come into gaussian blur so you draw a shape right click come to gaussian blur right there so do that for the rest of the image and when it comes to the nose area don't select the whole of it because when you do that it's going to make the nose look a little bit flat and look big which we don't want so right click and come to gaussian blur so i only applied the lasso tool only on the face so after you have retired the image anything that you would love to do is removing the blemishes from the image so in order to remove blemishes select the texture layer which contains the blemishes and simply come to our clone sum tool or you can use s on the keyboard so after doing that you can now zoom in and clean up the blemishes so how to remove a blemish simply reduce on the size and make sure it is slightly bigger than the blemish that you want to remove hold down the option key if at all you're using mac then for windows hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and left click on a clean area that is near the blemish and simply release the alternate key on the keyboard or release the option key if at all you're using mac and simply left click over the blemish to clean it or eliminate it from uh, your image so that is how you can remove blemishes so make sure the sample is currently if at all you haven't set that so the sample has to be currently because we want to work with the blemishes that are part of the current layer that we are working on basically so i'm just going to be forwarding this again and i'll see you later on after i have removed all the blemishes from this very image so i'm just going to be forwarding this hello welcome back and now you can see i'm done removing uh, the blemishes from the image so anything that i would love to do after doing skin retouching is the before after it is to 
simply add glow or shine to the image so i'm just going to come right here and i come to the curves adjust adjustment layer rather so simply come to this bright point and simply drag it and brighten up the image up to when i feel like the image is bright enough and close this and simply double click on this curves adjustment layer right there double click right here and it's going to open up this last style dialog box and simply come to the blend if make sure it is set to gray and come to the underlying layer and simply take the brightness away from the shadows of the image up to when the brightest areas within the skin are displaying so hold down the alternate key on the keyboard then if at all using mac simply hold down the option key on the keyboard and just split these two icons just like that we can even take this just like that so just come and simply hit ok and you can see what that has contributed to the image but has affected the overall image so simply come to the layer mask and simply press ctrl or command i on the keyboard ctrl i then command i for mac so come under the brushes get the brush tool and after doing this simply reduce on the size and make sure that you have black and white make sure the foreground is white in color simply paint back in the areas that you want to add that nice and beautiful glow to uh, your image so just paint in those areas and when you feel like the glow is not enough for you can simply double click on the curves icon and simply intensify that glow so after that i simply come right here and i come to you and saturation and simply come to master and simply desaturate the overall image to around negative 74 and press ctrl i on the keyboard and simply come with the brush tool reduce on the size and i do the uh, white whitening of the eyes and the teeth so i'm just going to be painting just like that and also come this side and also paint in the eyes and do a little bit of teeth whitening just like this so this is how you can do skin retouching in photoshop from the very start to the very end and if i told you i've learned a thing or two from this video i request that you the like button don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel so let's look at a quick before and after for the image this is the image before after before and after so this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing or two, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating